hi everyone welcome back to my channel so i just wanted to share how i made um these memory decks cards so first thing is i am going to use my laminator i haven't, I haven't used this thing in a long time and these are the scotch my laminator is the scotch uh brand and um, these are the sleeves that come with that brand uh, laminator. So this is my laminator. Um, I have to turn it on and heat it up. I usually like to do five minutes. Let it heat up for five minutes and then um, put anything through. So while that's um, heating up. First thing that I'm gonna do is, um, so let me tell y'all. So I've seen, I've seen this girl, I really forgot her name. If I remember her name, I will link it below where she had made some acetate memory decks cards with a sequence. Nobody says that you can't put too many of the sequins because they'll melt. No. I mean, I guess it's common sense, but you know, putting other things Maybe that are flat or maybe just a few instead of as many as I did here would probably be okay. Um, but don't do what I did and waste a bunch of sequins because you're going to have a heart attack like I did. So this is the other side of it. So if you're going to do sequins, just put a few. Um... I got started with wanting to use my laminator when I saw um, Vero, uh, V, she's buzzing with V here on YouTube. She um, did some uh, fry, french fry boxes, how to acetate, and you know, I was like, well, you know, I can just use my laminator and make some memory dex cards. So that's what I'm going to do, or that's what I have, you know, done. So what I'm going to do is spread some glitter so if you see on this one here I spread the glitter like a, I kind of like did it like a certain way two different glitters so I got this it doesn't have to be Martha Stewart glitter only reason why I got these is because I got them for 99 cents so this is a it's really uh, fine glitter so I'm gonna start with the pink okay. just a little bit at a time you know and I'm just gonna open this up what side is it of this okay and as much as possible, I'm going to try to get as much glitter in here as I can. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm just kind of going to, like, and that's it. You know what I mean? Like, you don't have to do a lot. So I'm going to do the same thing with the gold. trouble taking this one out I think I did too much damn it <laughs> okay so I'm gonna close it okay and then as soon as my laminator is ready I'm gonna put put it through the laminator Okay, so my laminator is ready. So I'm gonna try as much as possible to put this through without like, you know, spilling it. So I kind of tilt it a little bit so it won't like fall apart. I can't really see, but. Ah, I 
is getting stuck. And this is what it looks like. I'm going to push it through one more time. So hot, so I kind of let I gotta let it dry. I'll let it cool down, I should say. But so this is uh, the finished product. It's really cute. So um, I'm going to. I need to cut this down. I don't even know why I left off. I forgot to turn the camera on when I was talking. So. Um, I have to cut this down some this way because it's a little more than four. Memory Dex card is usually four by four, but I just don't want to not use the rest of it. So I'm just going to do three and a half so I can do um, two memory Dex cards out of one. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna get my uh, paper cutter. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut it down to three and a half. And then I'm gonna cut it uh, down four on this side okay so here's one and then the other one is going to be really small but that's okay I'm just going to cut it down to four so here's the other one okay Okay, so now I'm going to get my corner rounder and um, round the edges at the top of each one of them. And this one, which side do I like more? It's okay, I'll do this side. I guess it doesn't matter. Okay. So here's that. Now you are gonna have some fallout just because if you did like I did where it's just too much glitter on the edges, it's not gonna close properly. Um, think about that if you are gonna make these and you're not gonna sew because the next thing I'm gonna do is sew these. So that's not really gonna be a big issue because everything's gonna get sealed in. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and sew uh, pink around both of them and I'll be right back. Okay, so before I sew, <laughs> I need to um, have a die to make memory dex cards. You don't have to use a die. Um, you can just uh, use a hole punch or I'm gonna try to see if I can find um, like a template and I'm gonna link in the description box that way if you don't have a die or you don't have the punch you can just use a regular punch or you could just make a copy and just outline it and just cut it like fussy cut it out so I have this little like copy planner that I don't want to use so I decided to just put a lot of my dies in here I know everything's not gonna fit in here but this is a temporary organization for me 
And so here's my die. Now when you go to make it, don't be like me. Every time I do this, I always forget that I should I need to put it in this is the wrong way. Okay, don't put it this way. Make sure you're lifting this piece up. And it's this way, like you know. Don't be like me and mess it up and then do it backwards. So I'm going to go ahead and do that on my Gemini and I'll be back. Okay, so I went ahead and, um, sorry about the glare. I uh, punched my acetate and now um, I'm going to go and sew it. And here is the finished product. Um, I hope you liked this tutorial and thank you so much for watching. Bye.